guys, welcome back to Insomnia Extreme. Today's video is for this red demon inspired look. This is another wonderful collaboration sponsorship with Moda, which is a brush line underneath Royal Lang Nickel, and probably ones that you see me use all the time on this channel anyways. And I'm also the Moda Maven of the Month for October, which is just something really, really wonderful that they do where they highlight um, and feature an artist and most companies have never even thought to look my way for stuff like that, so I'm just really, really grateful. And uh, thank you to Moda, and just wanted to be fully upfront with you guys, but this video is just a tutorial, as always, of how to create this look using some brushes from Moda, and uh, it's pretty easy to do. I will say, something I hadn't thought of until they actually suggested it was using this guy to, like, base out a color, and you can see in the video how freaking fast it is, so that might be a new go-to for me, because if you guys know, the basing out stage is the most boring and tedious and just, so hopefully um, that is a new trick that you guys will enjoy because it's one that I really liked. But yes, talking forever, sorry about that. Let's just jump straight into the tutorial and if you want to see how to create this look then just please keep watching. So first thing we want to do is take that giant brush which is the Prismatic Face Brush in number 801 and I use this to apply Mayron's Paradise Paint in Beachberry all over my face, neck, chest, and of course ears. And again, I am now fully obsessed with using something like this to fill in a lot of space all at once. I did do two coats of the red, just so you can see when it goes on first. It's a little bit on the pinkier side because it's mixing with my very pale skin tone. And so doing that extra layer kind of helps it be a little bit more of a deep red. Next, I went ahead and took the Mayron paint in just red, which is a much deeper red for the Mayron paints, hence why I went with the kind of orangey beach berry first. And for this, I'm using the Precision Contour Brush, and I wanted to kind of lay out all the areas that I would want to contour my face. Since we're already red and we're a demon, we're actually going to be contouring with darker shades of red and then maybe a little bit of black. But something I've been working on myself is trying to get better at blending paints into paints instead of always using shadows since shadows give a beautiful soft finish but they do take a little bit longer sometimes so I'm trying to find a nice easy balance between using body paints to blend into itself and using shadows more as an accent. So for this I applied it to all the areas I would usually contour along the cheeks, nose, the temples, along the jawline and then a little bit along the neck to emphasize that musculature. Then taking an eyeshader brush and my Suva Beauty shadow in Bloody Mary, which you can see is a super orange base red, I went ahead and started filling this over the eye area, mainly along the top part where I wanted the colors to blend into since I knew I was doing a pretty dark smoky eye. And then I also applied this to all the high points of my face, almost acting as a mattifier but still brightening up those areas. Then just using the same brush, I jumped into my Love Plus shadow from Sugar Pill, which is a much deeper red and started applying this all over the eye as well as carrying it out into a winged cat eye shape, just kind of elongating the eye and pulling it out at a sharper point. The shadow is also fantastic for deepening the little contour areas that you might want around your eyes, around your nose, anything like that since it is a bit of a darker red. And then I just moved on to a black shadow which is bulletproof from Sugar Pill for me but any matte black will work here and kind of followed where I'd laid down a lot of the red, going a little bit less so it kind of smokes out into the red, but trying to build a pretty dark smoky eye. So applied this pretty much all over the lid and then again pulled it out at the sides, just not quite as far as the Love Plus shadow. And you do want to try and pat your brush more here, both for better pigmentation and also so you don't get a ton of black fallout on your cheeks. Then jumping to the angled foundation brush, since you guys know I don't tend to like using brushes for what they're technically meant for, I went ahead and took my Suva Beauty Shadow in Hookah, which is again just a deeper red. As many red shadows as you have might be useful for this look. And I just used this to again start softening the contours I had already added down with the darker red body paints. And this just kind of helps feather out any areas that you thought maybe were a little bit too harsh and need a little bit of a softer touch to them. And then with the black eyeshadow again and an angled liner, I went ahead and just started adding kind of little vein designs around the eyes. I like using a shadow for veining when I can just because since it's so soft you can get a lot more transparency from it that you would probably see in veining. And then you can always build up and deepen any areas that you need to afterwards. So for this I just went ahead and let the brush do most of the work, pulling out, kind of creating little wispy branching motions and just letting it feather off into nothingness. I 
I did this around both eyes and then also just use the same red shadows and a little bit of black to fill in my brows just to better define them a little bit. You probably don't have to go as high on the forehead with the veining like I did since I ended up wearing a wig with bangs anyways, but it's always nice to have some extra details that at least you know were there. Then of course, liquid liner is totally optional. I just love how strong a liquid liner looks. So I went ahead and did a regular cat eye wing and then also used the liquid liner to just darken some of those areas of the veining, kind of like I mentioned, to make some sections darker and deeper. It'll add a little bit more dimension to the transparency and strength of the veins. And then moving on to the neck and chest, I just want to repeat the same contouring steps that I had done on the face. So taking the red body paint and then using some shadow over top to feather. Whenever I work on the neck and chest, I tend to kind of just move my shoulders and neck around in ways so I can kind of see where the natural musculature is or bones or whatever and try to kind of shade around that. And then you can always add in a few other cheats such as the double rib boning kind of shading just to make things look a little bit more interesting and a little bit more demonic. Then for jumping into all of the chest detailing, I took the Moda Fine Liner Brush and my black Mayron paints and just started sketching out all of these different oblong circles and different shapes, kind of thinking of like webbing, a little bit of a venom goo feel. I wasn't entirely sure what to call this. I'm probably just gonna call it webbing since that seems easiest, but the biggest thing I was doing was making sure that all of the edges of the circles and shapes and triangles, whatever I was making, were curved. So I didn't want any of the corners of where the lines met to be sharp. So I would kind of just go in and fill those areas to make them rounded and softer. And this also made it easier to have certain areas appear thicker and have different line consistencies that make it a lot more visually interesting than if it was all the exact same line weight. Then when I was happy where I had laid down all the different line work, I went ahead and jumped back to the hookah shadow and took this on a concealer brush and started kind of adding a little bit of a drop shadow to all of the sections making it seem like there'd be a cast shadow from the top so all of my shading was underneath the lines and I also had a little bit of black to make sure the shadows really stood out in different areas but this just makes it a little bit more three-dimensional and adds a lot more dimension to the piece as a whole. Then jumping to the lips I just took the NYX liquid suede lipsticks in first kitten heels and then alien which is their black and I used these two together to kind of create a more softened blended lip I used the pointed lip brush because it was a bit easier to get control over the black on the edges and then the center of my lips and had it kind of feather outward. So it wasn't a strong black lip, though you certainly could rock that, but got more of a feathered softer feel. I did throw on some lashes. These are the Kiss Lashes in Opulence, and then I did jump to my Mayron Edge Paint in white. And for this, I did use two different brushes, one being the angled eyeliner I had been using for the veining earlier. And then I also used their Micro Glow, which is kind of just a mini fan brush. And I did actually really enjoy the mini fan for how easy it was to do the lining and highlighting along the thin lines. I often do like using my fine liner brushes, but if my hands are ever shaky or not cooperating for a paint, this is a little bit easier since I kind of just had to dab it down and the fan shape of the bristles actually made it naturally soften and blend out as well as made sure that it was actually straight and didn't deviate off of the black areas that I was trying to just add the little highlights to. I can honestly say the highlighting of this was probably my favorite part since it seemed to make the whole chest piece kind of come to life. When I was happy with it, I did go ahead and throw on my wig. And then last thing I wanted to do was add a little bit of highlight just to make sure the high points of my face really popped and stood out with the red. For this, I just used a highlighter from Becca Cosmetics in Champagne Pop, since it's a little bit of a warmer golden toned highlight, which kind of works on top of the red. And then I just used the pointed foundation brush and applied this all over the areas you would normally highlight. And there you have it. That is my red demon inspired paint. I will do a more like classic devil demon one day. I just kind of wanted to jump into this and this is kind of where it ended up. A little bit more of a freeform paint and I really, really like the direction it went in. And this wig is from Arda. It's actually a wig I've used for my Blake cosplays um, in the past from Ruby. So I thought I could repurpose it a little bit. Really, really hope you guys enjoyed this one and I can't wait to put out more tutorials for you guys and I hope you are having a fantastic Halloween month and that the season is treating you well. But thank you so much as always for watching. I of course will see you next video. So until then, bye guys.